Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but I don't do these types of videos too much. We do vlogging on the family channel. If you guys want to check that stuff out, go check out Adam and Katie. Put the links below. We got a family channel where we do vlogging and my wife does cooking and all kind of stuff. So check that out. But today, me and my boy, we are on an ammo run and I'm going to take you guys along with us. We got a new rifle and we don't have bullets for it. So we got to stop and get those bullets and maybe some other bullets along the way if we find some deals. But come along with us. We're going to find some bullets and give you a sneak peek of some bullets that's going to show up in some videos. So come on, check it out. Hey everybody, back down here in the uh, the dungeon here, but we're going to do a little quick ammo haul reveal and show you guys what I got. So no particular order except for I'm saving these for last because everyone always requests buffalo bore. So we got some. I wasn't planning on getting it, but I got some. Let me uh, show you one at a time here what I got. <clears throat> I spent, a, spent more money than I wanted to. Uh, y'all may or may not know, but I am broke, but, uh, yeah, I spent some money. What do we got here? This is some MagTech 300 AAC Blackout Subsonic and 200 grain Full Metal Jacket. So, uh, that may give you a, a uh, somewhat of a sneak peek into a a new rifle that's going to be in some videos soon, but some 200 grain, 300 blackout, MagTech, full metal jacket. That's literally the cheapest 300 blackout I had in there. Box number, well, let's just go down the row here. Box number two, this is some Federal Power Shock stuff. It's a cheaper budget brand hunting ammo. I shoot a lot of this normally because a lot of times it's the cheapest hunting ammo I can find. This is... 300 blackout, 150 grain, jacket of soft points. So, 300 blackout hunting rounds. Then next we've got some, the exact same thing, but this is 223 um, Federal Power Shocks. This is the new branding, but some stores still have some of this old branding, and this is the exact same stuff. 150 grain, 300 blackout, and then 55 grain, 223. So then we got some uh, Frontier. I've never fired this, but this is supposed to be some good Hornady 556 stuff. What is this? Uh, supposed to be 3,200 feet per second. And uh, how heavy are these? 55 grain, 556. Then I got the exact same thing. And 300 blackout. So 125 grain, 300 blackout, and then some 55 grain full metal jackets. 
in 5.56. Then, we've got another two more matching boxes. This is, uh, it's Hornady, right? Yeah, Hornady Black Ammo. And again, 5.56. Is that camera going to focus? 5.56. And 300 blackout and I'm reading it backwards but what does this say 62 grain full metal jackets in the 556 and some 208 grain in the 300 blackout let me see what these look like these are supposed to be pretty wicked too but if this uh, camera will focus here these are I think supposed to be kind of nasty but yeah that's pretty wicked little 300 blackout there what are those bullets called? These Hornady Black Bullets are, uh, what's on this end? Amax Bullets. 208 grain, 300 blackout. So, that's a bunch of stuff. I don't want to forget to talk to you about this box. That's a bunch of stuff, um, you may by now know. We're going to be doing some 300 blackout videos. I just picked up a new rifle the other day, and yeah. We've been super busy this week, and I haven't been able to get it out, but had to get some ammo. Appreciate y'all big time. I say it all the time. I am absolutely broke. YouTube doesn't make you rich. But there are a handful of y'all that have chosen to support us on Patreon. I never talk about it, and I never ask for it, but I want to make a special point to say that I appreciate you guys. Um, definitely went towards buying some of this that we got today and I appreciate that big time. So Buffalo Boar. Let me talk about Buffalo Boar for a minute. So I'm here to tell you. People comment all the time asking to see ammo on the channel. Buffalo Boar is the number one. It's just like 50 BMG. You go you go uh side in your 22 LR in a video, without a doubt somebody's gonna comment, you should have shot a 50 BMG there's just those people out there. Same thing with ammo. Oh, that, that stuff's garbage. You should have bought the Buffalo Boar stuff. Well, well, people don't realize Buffalo Boar is very expensive. Um, I've shot some in 4570, and that's all I've shot. And, uh, hey, that stuff was real hot. It was good ammo. Nothing wrong with Buffalo Boar ammo, but it's like I was getting at. People always want to see the big, ridiculous, crazy, expensive stuff. I went and bought a crazy expensive 50 BMG, and yeah, I went and bought some crazy expensive Buffalo Boar, but like I said earlier, I wasn't planning on buying this, but it had it on an end cap and marked like 30% off, so it kind of caught my eye, like, oh, there's Buffalo Boar, and it's marked down. What is it? Let's see if any of it is in guns that I actually own. One of it was, and it was this box, and what is this? It's 45 Colt. So, it says right there, if you can read it, uh, yeah, for use in any 45 Colt or 454 console. What is this stuff? I don't even know. I literally just said, oh, it's, it's 45 Colt. We have a gun that can shoot that, and that's the Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. This is some 225 grain anti-personnel is what they call it. So 225 grain anti-personnel, 45 Colt rounds. I, I didn't even open this box and look at the bullet before I bought it. I literally just said, oh, it's 45 Colt. Everyone wants to see Buffalo Boar, so let's buy it. But if I can get the camera to focus on this now, look at that. That's pretty wicked. Like, I don't even know if the camera is going to do you justice to show you how deep that pocket is on that hollow point, but that's pretty deep hollow point. But yeah. 225 grain buffalo boar 45 colt my friend the adventure cowboy uh, if you haven't subscribed to him go check him out we went deer hunting this past year and elk hunting had an absolute blast he told me if you're a true cowboy you don't call it 45 long colt which me i don't know anything about guns i just read off the box it says 45 long colt i'm going to call it a 45 long colt but he said if you're a real cowboy you call it 45 colt so this buffalo ammo Buffalo Boar ammo is 45 Colt. And I'm going to tell you how much this costs. Even with the 30% off or whatever, these were almost $2 a bullet. And it's 20 bullets. So I paid almost $40 on clearance for 20 bullets for these. But that's a lot of talk about some ammo. Comment down below what you think about all this stuff. Have you shot it? 
do you like it has it worked good for you you know what do you want to see in the videos um yeah we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of filming soon with this stuff comment down below what you want to see in the videos but thanks for watching guys i truly appreciate you guys watching there's a handful of you suckers that i shouldn't say suckers i started to say jokers and then my mind said don't call them jokers but anyways there's a handful of you guys that watch every single video and i cannot tell you how much i appreciate that i appreciate it so much you'll never know but thanks for watching guys always appreciate you guys big time let me know if you want to see more of these random type of vlogging videos. That wasn't even really a vlog. I didn't film a whole lot in there. But thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Heavy Metal channel if you haven't already. This stuff's going to be some wicked stuff. Hoodoo!